I've always wanted to be a doctor. It's finally happening. No, no, no! Help me! Adult Wednesday is now an expert with drills and sharp tools. This will be over soon. No, no, no! Ouch! Oh my! What is she doing to Barbie? Doctor, it's me, Ariel! What's wrong? I need your help! What? I'm listening. This is so embarrassing! Look! I have pimples on my butt! <sighs> don't laugh, don't laugh. Can you do something about it? Certainly. Come on. What are we going to do? You'll see. Wait, I brought my trident! Lie down on your stomach. Okay, what now? We're going to make use of your trident. What about it? Safety glasses on. Check. I'm gonna pop your pimples with the trident. Are you serious? Isn't it going to hurt? Uh-oh! Now this is going to be a slimy mess! I'm gonna need a shower after this. Your pimples are big and slimy. I think that was the last one. Phew! I feel so much better now! I'm glad. That was a sacrifice I had to make. I'm gonna spray some antiseptic spray to prevent infection. And patch it up with a band-aid. Well, I can sit down again! Payment! Here, you can take my hair clip made of pearls. It's very valuable. I don't wear hair clips. Ugh. Fine, maybe I can sell this for gold coins. Time to get back to business. Hello? Anyone here? Huh? Achoo! A little mermaid? Looks like you're very sick. Take a seat. <sighs> Thing, give her some tissues first. I can't stop sneezing! Thanks for the tissue! It's a snot fountain! Disgusting! You scattered snot all over my office! Ugh, it's all over me too! Yuck! That's it. This is a code red. We are getting rid of all that snot with a leaf blower! Ugh, it's so windy! Help me! All done. Phew. Oh, right, I forgot to give you the medicine spray. Open up. No, I don't like it! I know a trick to convince her. You want some candy spray instead? Yeah! I want you to close your eyes first. Done? Okay, I'm gonna spray the medicine instead of the candy, and she won't know a thing. Hehe. <laughs> mmm, so sweet! I feel better now! Thanks, Doc! A leftover blob of snot? Ew! Gotta be careful. Ugh! Help! It's Ken and Barbie! Barbie is about to give birth! Huh? I see. Her water broke. She's in labor. Woo! Let's get that baby out. Come on, Barbie. Relax on the bed. I'll cover your legs with a blanket. Ouch! You're gripping too hard! My fingers! I think you broke my bones! Let's check the situation of your baby. Yep, she's ready to come out now. What? It's time to push, mommy. No, no, I'm not ready! I said push. <laughs> huh? You push harder or I'll pull the baby out with these. No, please don't! I'll help you calm down. A walking hand? A scream was all it took for Barbie to push her baby out. Our baby! You have a healthy baby girl. Oh, she looks just like me. What a cute little spider. Huh? The real Spider-Man. Doctor, help! A snake bit me. Interesting. You're turning green. And your logo turned into a snake. That sounds like a serious illness. Uh, I'm turning into snake, man! Calm down. I'll pry the snake off of you. You just have to be really gentle when taking her. See? Phew! You're a lifesaver! This is going to be my pet now. 
Welcome to your new home. What about the snake bite? Let me see. Looks like the snake left her fangs in you. I know what to do. A double pumper. They take out the fangs just like that. Of course, a spider bite will turn you back into Spider-Man. Ow! Whoa, it's working! I'm Spider-Man again! Oh, yeah! Pay up. Oh, shoot! See ya, Doc! Ugh. You owe me money, insect. Welcome to Dr. Wednesday's clinic! I don't trust Wednesday with that syringe. What is she going to inject thing with? Stay still. I'm gonna have to chain you up. This serum is going to change your life. No! What are you doing to me? My experiment. It's working. Something's happening to me! I'm growing! This is gonna be awesome. No way! Am I growing arms? Not just arms, but a full body! I feel so complete! Ha-ha! I'm human! Told you it would change your life. Huh? My arm disappeared! Oh no, a headache! My legs! Ugh. I'm just a hand again! Oh man, I guess we'll have to do another test. Hey, is that a puddle of water? What the… tears? It seems like Mommy Longlegs is in a tangled situation! Help me untangle my heart! No loud noises in my hospital. Okay, I'll just close my mouth. Now for the procedure. What? We need garden shears. Don't cut my arms! Silly. I'm going to use the crowbar at the other end. What's that for? Watch this. I'll use the crowbar to nudge and untangle your arms. Ugh. This is harder than I thought. I'm gonna need a hand. Huh? What is this hand doing? Relax, he's helping you let go of your grip. Now it will be easier to pull out your arms. No, no! Wow. You fixed me! My arms are free! What do I owe you? Two hundred dollars. But I only have one hundred dollars! Well, let me cut off your arm as payment then. No, I'm sorry! Here! Two hundred dollars! Good talk. You may go now. Oh no! Ariel got a hook caught in her tongue! Let me have a closer look. A fishing hook, huh? It looks like it's still attached to a fishing rod. I'm gonna figure out where this came from. Aha! Uh -huh. Pull! Whoa! You bad fisherman! Look what you caught! You caught a mermaid! I caught a mermaid? Wait! Whoa! Oh my! It seems the fisherman caught the love bug too! I don't wanna kiss a man! Why don't you kiss a smelly fish instead? Mm -hmm. uh, huh? Something smells fishy. Ugh! <coughs> That's so gross! <laughs> Can you help me now? Time to cut the string. There. Off you go, fisherman. Now for Ariel's tongue. I'll simply cut off the hook. Then I'll gently pull the remaining hook out. Easy peasy. You did it! Huh? There's still a hole in my tongue! I know what we can do. Since there's a hole in your tongue already, you might as well put a piercing in it. Cool skull, huh? It's so heavy! But I love it! Just mess my hair up a little bit. I'm a rock star, mermaid! You can take all my pearls and shells! Gotta rock and roll! Medicine is here. Huh? Is that… Ow! Sorry! Didn't see that! My gosh! Give me your hand and I'll lead the way. Are we there yet? Lie down on the bed. There. Thing, hand me the pliers. Uh-oh! What are the pliers for? It's time to pull out some piranha plant teeth. I'm going to pluck them out one by one. Easy. 
Got another. This is pretty sharp. A few more teeth to go. Last one. I got all the teeth out. Yay! Keep them for treasure, thing. So heavy! Ouch! All right, let's try pulling the piranha plant off. Oh, you saved me! Oh dear, my head is full of slime and bite marks. I'm gonna need a shower. Wahoo! I've got some gold coins for ya! Nice. Gold coins? How generous. The piranha plant is sad without his teeth. Poor Barbie is in a guillotine. Huh? Where is this fog coming from? A bat. I knew it. Dracula. Show me your face. I'm shy, but okay. I have oversized fangs. Oh my gosh. Make them small, please. Let's see. The guillotine. I know. I found the solution. Just put your fangs right here and I'll cut them off. Are you sure it's not going to hurt? That looks scary. Maybe I'll just get a second opinion. Oh, fine. I'll do it. I'm scared. Don't worry. <laughs> huh? It's done. Got them. Huh? They're still big! Ugh. Okay, let's get grinding. What's that? I'll grind off the rest of those stubborn fangs. See for yourself. Done. My big fangs are gone! But now I don't have any fangs at all! Have patience, will you? I have a fang collection here. Take your pick. We have a variety. Hmm. What about? That one! Okay, rainbow fangs it is. Try it on. Okay. How do I look? I feel sparkly. Thanks, Doc! I'm off! Ahem. Oops, I forgot to pay! Medieval coins? What can I buy with this? Wednesday's been adopted! Congratulations! Yes! We finally found our little girl! Whoa! You scared us! Anyway, it's nice to meet you! Let him go! Well, that's one lively greeting! We take it back! We're not taking home that scary girl! Oh man! This adoption was a fail! For the hundredth time! Run for your lives! What was that about? Oh well, let's go get our new child. We'd be happy to take Wednesday. Such a sweet girl. We got you a teddy bear. Do you like it? Are you sure about this? Huh? Uh-oh, is that a bomb? There's no time left. No, no, no! What? Yes, yes. Three, two, one. Will they still like Wednesday after that explosion? I'm alive! Another failed adoption! Huh? She's perfect! That was so funny, dear! What? Let's go home! Wow. I can't believe it! She's finally gone! Thank heavens! Let us show you to your room! Ta-da! Look at our surprise! Welcome home, Wednesday! I'm allergic to pink. What? Oh, uh, well, sorry about that. No more pink confetti then. But there's one more surprise. Meet your sister, Enid. Hi, Wednesday. My new bestie. Hugs. I see you're too shy for a hug. Well, we're gonna have so much fun. I doubt it. They seem to be getting along just fine. I'm so happy. Oh, let me show you your bed. Here it is! We can have dance parties, jam sessions, and teddy bear dates. Whee! Whoa! <laughs> I got too excited. I'll be right back. Uh-oh, what is Wednesday up to? I brought snacks. What? Black and white, just to my taste. No! 
Oh! Hold it right there. You can't cross the line. A line? Fine, whatever. What are you gonna do about it? I'm crossing over. Huh? Great work, Thing. Wednesday is doing her signature hair braid. But Enid replaced the hair tie with a pink one. This is not going to end well. Left braid looks good. Right braid is pink. Gotcha! I want to give you a makeover. Check out my beauty box. There are so many makeup products. Let's start with a blush on. Not interested. How about a little tiara? No. Oh, how about lipstick? <laughs> what is he doing? Huh? What? Oh no! Things smushed Enid's lipstick. What? Humph. Fine. Finally, I can get rid of this. I need to sleep. Now's my chance. It's makeover time! I've got to choose the brightest colors. This is gonna be great! You'll see. Everyone seems to be having a good time at breakfast, especially Enid. Here comes Wednesday! What? <laughs> Pretty, right? What? What is it? Are these… hair clips? And pink makeup? What have you done to my face? Grrr. It wasn't me! Huh? Even Thing got a pink makeover! Traitor! Happy birthday, Wednesday! I got you a present! Open it! Is this a pink scarf? Seriously? I knitted it myself! Do you like it? Huh? huh? Why is the cake moving on its own? Could it be a bomb? It's Thing! That was a very messy birthday surprise! Guess we're skipping the blow the candles part! Yum! Dig in! But it's so messy and sticky! I'll clean it up. This is what the ugly scarf is meant to do. You've got something on your face, too. Ugh! You're so mean! I hate you! Well, it's just another sibling fight. A bubble bath for a bright and bubbly girl. I should probably shave my legs. Oh dear, being a werewolf really makes you hairy. Ew, look at all this hair. Ah, so relaxing. Especially with good music. Wednesday needs a bath too, but it seems the bathtub will be occupied for a while. Uh-oh, I know that evil smile. Somebody had time to go fishing. When the sun goes down and the moon comes up. Ah! It's a piranha! No! So gullible. It's fake, see? It's school time! I wonder how Wednesday will do on her first day! I'll show you our lockers! This is yours beside mine! Twinnies! This is revolting! All this pink and cuteness! What about inside? More pink? This is making me nauseous! What is she gonna do with spray paint? Time to redecorate! Plain black! Well, simplicity is beauty, I guess. Oh, look at my crush, Joshua. OMG, it's him! I watched your game last Friday. It seems Joshua has his eyes on somebody else. Could he be crushing on Wednesday? What is he looking at? Move over. Hi, pretty girl. Nice to meet you. Leave before I break your hand. I just want a handshake. That's a handshake indeed! Your hand feels soft. See you around. See you! Wait! Who 
Whose hand is this? Oh, oh Joshua, my love! Mwah! You're so handsome! What's this? OMG, are you a stalker? Why are you so mean? <laughs> Did you see her face? Let's go! Oh, it's you! Those bullies were making fun of me! Bullies? Leave them to me. What a weirdo! I bet she'll cry when I tear this photo apart. Uh-oh, is Thing going to push the trash bin onto the bullies? Huh? What is this? Ah! Ah! Help me! Wait up! Something's tickling my head. Ah! That was so funny! Oh, thanks, sis. No, no hugs. Oh, fine. I guess you're welcome, sis. Welcome to the school talent show! Joshua is up first with his questionable singing skills. Beautiful girls all over the world. He's so talented. I think that's enough. Please take your seat. Joshua, you were amazing. <laughs> of course. Enid, you're up next. Okay, teacher. My talent is that I knitted all these clothes. Do you like it? Really? Bravo! So embarrassing. With that, I give you an A. Yay! Wednesday, it's your turn. Okay, I'll show you real talent. A bow and arrow? Whoa! Whoa. Watch out, guys! That arrow is quite a traveler! And it's got pinball moves! Stop! No! A perfect shot! That was indeed marvelous! A round of applause for Wednesday! That's amazing! You get an A+. Plus. How come I didn't get a plus on my A? It seems Wednesday's in deep concentration. I will find you. I see she's back at it, writing horror stories. Thing, hello? Why isn't he responding to my snaps? Ugh. What the? <gasps> Looks like the family is in the middle of spa time. Hi, dear. <laughs> huh? How do you like the massage, sir? Let's add a bit more lotion. Turn around, please. Ew. Oh, what a big zit! I'm afraid we have to pop it! Oh my, that's a lot of pimple pus! Ew! Whoa! You scared me! Thing! Sorry, I just wanted a little spa time! Wednesday, why don't you join us? Yeah, it's our bonding time! No. But look at that! You have a giant zit on your forehead! Gee, you don't have to announce it to the world. I know. Just put on a face mask. What? Now the cucumber. Let's see the result. Yay! Thank gosh the pimple is gone. I mean, whatever. How do you like my new claws? They look amazing! Wow. What? You couldn't even get black ones? I have a feeling today is gonna be a good day. Rise and shine, ladies. I can't wait for school. I can't wait to smash this annoying clock. Much better. What a great morning. What outfit should I wear today? What to wear? Ah, there's my favorite color. Even Thing has his own closet of gloves. Move, it's my turn at the mirror. You move. No, you! Uh-oh! Look what you've done to my dress! Hey! Well, look what you've done to my face! Grr! Girls, you're gonna be late for your first class! Thank goodness Thing managed to stop the fight! He really comes in handy! Girls, here are your lunch boxes! This is for Enid! So adorable! Thanks, Mom! And this is for Wednesday. A headstone, my favorite. What about Thing's lunch? Hand it over. 
Oh, right. Here you go. A tiny lunchbox. Hurry up! Enjoy your school day, ladies. Yay! Layla's nanny is here. It's Enid! What a warm and sunny greeting. But there's one more nanny. It's Wednesday. Looks like she brought her handy friend, Thing. Scary! What? Is it just me or did it get chilly? <sighs> Candies! Layla's favorite snack. Come on! Not so fast. Huh? You should eat a salad instead. Ew! No way! Wednesday looks busy reading her book. But Layla is up to something. What's up with her toy? Huh? Wednesday is having a vision. Looks like there's an operation going on here. The toy is stable. He's just getting stitched up now. Oh no! He's flatlining! It's up to Dr. Wednesday to save him! Did it work? Yes! Now for my favorite part. Cutting him open. I like to see the beauty of his insides. That looks like a full stomach. Whoa, his gooey insides are just flowing out. It seems something else is making the toy sick. He needs tweezers for this one. Let's see what's inside. Ugh, a worm. Rainbow vomit. Wait a minute, this looks like Layla's favorite candy. Busted. What a wild vision! Give me that. I know what you're hiding. You won't fool me. Something is inside this toy. Wow! Somebody's got a secret candy stash! The secret has been spilled! Literally! <laughs> no! My candies! I can't believe you fooled me! This is all going to the trash! What a waste! I can't believe the candies are just being thrown away! Poor Layla. Or not. What's with the evil smile? Oh, you sneaky girl. More secret stashes. Whoa, is this a vampire's castle? Wait, it's just Layla's room. What is Wednesday doing? The best way to fall asleep is to engulf yourself in darkness. This coffin is where you shall rest in peace. No way. Is Layla really going to sleep in a coffin? Huh, this is actually comfortable. So long, friend. Wait, don't close it! La la la! Huh? No! Stop! What are you thinking? Layla won't be able to breathe in there. Go to your bed, Layla. Such a foolish concern. Here, I've got you a unicorn blanket. Wow, it's so soft! It's laughable is what it is. At least I get to take this warm cot. And Enid finally puts Layla to sleep with a good old fairy tale story. Yay! Layla wants to eat an apple, but she has a toothache. Her tooth is moving. My tooth hurts. I can't bite. We're going to have to slice the apple then. Come with me. Just stand right there. An apple on her head? I have a bad feeling about this. Now stay still. OMG, a bow and arrow? I'm so scared! Here I go. Can she do it? Oh, phew! I can't imagine what would have happened if she'd hit the wrong thing. OMG, what are you doing? You could have hurt her! At least I cut the apple. Am I alive? Are you okay? Gosh, I'll show you how to safely slice an apple. Come with me. First, we're gonna need a chopping board and our very own apple cutter. All you need to do is press the cutter down on the apple and you get instant slices. Here, safe and easy. No need to risk our lives. This is how you properly sharpen a knife. Here, you try it. Uh, I don't think a child should be doing that. Ow! It's just a tiny cut. You need a magnifying glass to see it. Ha! Huh, how shallow. I have an idea. A wound tattoo? There. Now you have a bigger wound. A bigger wound? Okay, then. Hey! Oh my gosh! 
Nanny Enid couldn't handle the huge cut on Layla's hand. Nanny, wake up! It's just a tattoo to cover up a very small cut. Phew! Oh, I have a better idea. Tape? Oh, that could remove the huge, nasty tattoo. Finally, it's all gone. Now for the tiny cut. I have wound spray to treat that. And a fun fairy tale band aid to cover it. Nanny Enid did a great job treating Layla's wound. But it's Layla who deserves a lollipop for being a brave girl. Thank you, Nanny! Yay! Something woke Layla up. Could it be a monster inside the closet? Look at those sharp claws! He's coming out! Nanny! What's happening? Ha! Showtime's over! Wednesday? We were just getting to the good part. Leave! It's okay, it was just silly Wednesday. Go back to sleep. Wait, don't leave me! I'm still scared! Well… Oh, I know what to do. This is like a magic show. There has to be an endless tool scarf in there. Or a mountain of it. Enid has some crafting ideas. She's hooking it up to the ceiling. This is gonna be good. Wow, a curtain! Just like a princess bed! This will protect Layla from scary monsters! I love it! Oh, a yummy orange lollipop! But Layla is having tooth problems. How can she eat her lollipop then? We remove the root of the problem. But those pincers are so scary! This will be quick and easy. What? No! Are you crazy? I'm calling a dentist. Yes, please. Come right away. I'm here. I'm here. Is the dentist okay? Let me see those teeth. I see. It's a broken tooth. That was an easy pull. Success. Here you go. Cool. It's so small. The tooth fairy will love this. It's time for Layla to clean up all her messy toys. I don't want to. Your teddy bear will explode if you don't clean up. What? Sorry! I promise I'll clean now! Time is ticking! You better start now! Please, Nanny! Not my teddy! What's going on? OMG! A bomb? Nanny Enid is here to save the day with scissors! Time is running out! It stopped! Thank gosh, that was the right wire to cut! But Layla still needs to clean up her toys, and Nanny Enid has a trick in mind. Watch this. Shoot the toys into the basket just like hockey. That looks fun. Let me try it. Goal after goal. Three points for Team Layla. Good job, Layla. Now that you've scored all the goals, let's put this away. And the teddy is safe, too. It's cleaning duty for Nanny Enid today. Look at all these messy clothes! No! Oh my gosh! Oops! Help me! Oh, Layla! She doesn't know how to properly fold her clothes! Good thing Enid has a gadget for that! Unfold the gadget on a flat surface and lay a shirt on top. Fold the sides, then the bottom. And there you have it! A neatly folded shirt! Let's do one more, because this is just so fun to do! There! All done! Wow! My closet is so neat and tidy! Thanks to the gadget, right? What is going on here? Colorful clothes? This is absurd. Is that a bomb? Uh-oh! Someone's closet is about to explode! We better start running! This is gonna be fun. All her stuff turned black! That must have been a black bomb! This is what you're gonna wear from now on. Black dress, black shoes. Got it? Look at this girl! She looks exactly like Wednesday! Double me, double the darkness. <laughs> Princess Peach is about to have an ultrasound! I'm a little nervous! It's a me, Mario! Hold my hand, dear! Let's start the procedure! Why is it not working? Come on! 
Broken, eh? Let a Mario fix it. Just tightening the bolts here. Yippee! It worked! Thanks, man! Their baby is in a Mario game, too! It's me, a baby Mario! Look! I'm a rainbow! Oh! My baby is so amazing! What? Hurry, a jump! Jump! Yahoo! Wednesday is also here for an ultrasound! She's so annoyed! It seems the doctor has a little buddy in his pocket! Huh? Choo-choo! <laughs> I'm gonna hit you, Barbie! Help me! Here comes the choo-choo! Wait! That's my doll! Give it back! What? You are safe now! Oh no! Grrr! Oh no! Here come the pregnant belly lovers to annoy Princess Peach! Mamma mia! What to do? Oh! A Barbie! I know! What? Where are you going? Don't leave! I'm gonna make a pregnant Barbie! I'll put a baby on her stomach and cover it up with some belly-shaped clay. Next, I'll pour glue on her new pregnant belly. Keep pouring until her entire belly is covered in glue. And add glitter to make it fancy! Done! Huh? A, a pregnant, pregnant Barbie? Barbie? Catch this if you can! Go! Belly! Belly! Wait for me! Thanks, my hero! Of course! Enid can't stop touching Wednesday's pregnant belly either! Go away! Ugh! Huh? Thing is here to join in on the fun! That's it! Lurch! Yes? Get rid of them now! Care for a bomb? Oh, I like the way you think! So soft! Mm -hmm. Huh? Where's the belly? Three, two, one… Ah, there's nothing like post-explosion air! Whoa! What just happened to us? <laughs> you guys pressed the wrong button there! Ugh! Where did this slime come from? Huh? Mamma mia! <laughs> oh, I sneezed a lot! <laughs> What's wrong with you? I can't sleep! Lying on my pregnant belly is so uncomfortable! I see! Well, first wipe off all that slime, please! Now let me find you something for your belly! What to do? Think! Think! Whoa! I'm okay! Mario is tough! A floaty? I've got it! So uncomfortable! I'm a back! Stand up first, will you? I have an idea! What's up with him? Lie your belly on the floaty! Wow, I'm so comfortable now! Wahoo! Time to go back to sleep! I'm sure I can squeeze in here! Wow! Okay, then a dog bed it is! I'm ready to sleep! Coffin is ready. There it is. Just gonna fluff up my pillow. Ah. What? The coffin won't close. Her belly's in the way. Unbelievable. Lurch! What's wrong? Do something about my belly! Should we cut it off? Go for it! Is he really cutting her belly? Oh, phew! He's just making a hole in the coffin! There! Now your belly will fit! Genius! Now that's a comfy way to sleep! Top it off with a blanket, and you're in for a good night's sleep! I need to poop! 
Finally! Hurry up, Mario! I need to pee! Huh? Oh no! Push! There it goes! Yay! Phew! I got the flush now! Ugh! Eat the smell is so bad! Oh my, you made a giant mess! I need to clean up! Toilet brush! Oh no! I broke it! This is bad! Ow! Stupid brick! Oh! It gave me a star! Not just a star, but a toilet bomb! Great timing! The star can make the toilet all sparkly again! Wow! But a star is not enough! We have to add fun colors and foam! What's taking so long? Mario! I'm gonna add lemons too! Way to go! Now it's ready to be flushed out! Humph! You can use the toilet now! Too late! I already peed! Mamma mia! Got a toilet bomb left to clean the floor? Suspicious. Let's see… I knew it! It stinks! Thing just left an explosive mess! How much can a hand digest? I know what you need… A gas bomb! Gas mask on! No! I'm gonna light this thing up! Take cover! Stop! Now we wait. Looks like everything went well. Let's see… Ah, fresh air. I can finally poop peacefully now. That will teach Thing not to leave another poop bomb! Huh? Ah! Are you gonna do this? It looks like there's an emotional monster on the other side of the room! I must go in quietly! Hey there! Huh? Ah! That was close! I have to rely on my tools! Wrench? Nah! Hammer? Nope! Oh, I know! Flowers, tissues, and mushrooms! Lastly, chocolate! Let's go! It's Mario against… an emotional pregnant peach! Easy there! Look! Take this! Chocolate? Easy there! Chocolate! This is so good! I want more! Now for the tissues! While the prego is secured, now's my chance! Flowers? Oh, for me? Mwah. Electrocuting Barbie? Wednesday would enjoy this show! Huh? What? What are you doing to Barbie? Oh no! Thing already pressed the button! Hey! That was close! Don't hurt this precious doll, you monster! But you usually like this. It's raining tears! Wednesday's hormones are all over the place! Might as well make the most out of it and gather all the tears in a watering can! Success! Good thing I have toilet paper earrings! Clip them on the earlobes! What is this? Nice! I can easily wipe away my tears now! This is perfect! Good job, Lurch! Happy baby shower! We brought presents! Wow! Could it be pink baby clothes? I better open them then! Oh, I'll open the pink box first! Wow! Huh? Just a plain clear baby bottle? Eh. What's wrong? A plain white onesie? No! <laughs> you don't like, like it? it? What's going on here? I think it's best if you guys leave. 
Sorry. Uh, tell me what's wrong. Look at this plain, boring gift. I want colors. I know. Come with me. Why are they heading to the toilet? Wait and see. Don't cry. I'm going to fix this. Look. Watch carefully as I roll the onesie and tie it with the rubber bands. Double the loop to make sure it's secure. There. Now let's drop it in the toilet. Then I'm going to add a colorful paint. Just like a rainbow. Then I'll add a foam for an extra kick and some golden powder. Lastly, I'll wrap plastic over the toilet. What now? Just do you wait. Let's close the lid and flush. It's done. Let's unroll it. Voila! A tie-dye onesie! What do you say? This is amazing! So many colors! Plain bottle? Nah! Sparkly bottle! Yes! Oh my gosh, this is the best! Mario really knows the best tricks! I got you a gift, Wednesday! Thanks, I guess… Hugs! Where did you go? Oh, there you are! Open it! All right. A stuffed toy. And a pink onesie. What? Really? Do you like it? Do I like it? I do like carving it open and taking out all of its stuffing. Then I'll put a battery inside him. Along with some wires. Gonna patch you up now, buddy. Just gonna do a little tweaking. Check it out. Hi! As for the onesie, I prefer it black and edgy. And for the pacifier, I like them spiky. A pink toy is a big no. A spiky bat is more like it. Whoa! Mario is in the middle of a fight with Bowser! Watch out! Ouch! My wife needs me! What happened? My water broke! I'm giving birth! Mamma mia! Deep breaths, Mario! <gasps> Grab the birth bag! Hurry up! <gasps> Hold on! I just need to breathe! Ugh, I'll do it myself! You can do it! But maybe don't squeeze my hand so much! Please let me go! Ah! Ouch! Ouch! Push! I'm trying! Great catch, quarterback! Your baby is safe! Oh, my boy! This baby looks more like Luigi! What? Then the father is… <laughs> How's the baby? Oops. Oh, well. <laughs> what the? My water broke. I'm giving birth. Red alert. Fret not. I've got the wheelchair. Quick, take me to the hospital. Let me stretch for a bit. On your marks, set, go. I didn't expect them to be that fast. Whoa, you surprised me. Lie down while you go into labor. I'll be back. No need. I can push the baby out on my own. Whee! What? I got her. I got her. Easy peasy. Let's go home, my independent girl. But 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 how? Wednesday is so hungry. I know. I have my meal right here. What? Come here. Why? Don't eat me! Ma'am, your bloody steak is ready. I want something else. All right. It's gonna be hard to satisfy a pregnant lady's cravings. But maybe this array of dark foods will be enough? Not dark enough. Find something else. What a tough job for the butler. It's time to pull out the recipe book. Let's see… Huh? I want a cake. Huh? A cake? I see. You got it. Blueberry cake coming right up. 
Of course, the steak and the fish have to go on top. It needs more dark sprinkles and whipped cream. What kind of concoction is this? Nom. Excuse my manners. She finished it all in one bite. Pregnant people scamming. What was that? Something's falling on Ken's face. Barbie, is that you? OMG, is Barbie possessed? I'm still hungry. Here, I have some chips with me. They're all yours. Food! Nom, nom, nom. Uh oh, the bag is empty already. I need more food. A salad? No. Pasta? Disgusting. Oh, what about sushi? Ew, I don't like it. Ken is running out of options. Ice cream and a can of fish? I want the ice cream. Hold on. I want that can of fish, too. Fish as an ice cream topping? A pregnant lady's palate never fails to astound me. At least she's happy now. What a busy day today for our little writer. She must be writing a horror story. Meanwhile, the butler is preoccupied with cleaning. Let me clean this skull. Oh, no! Ugh. Just a normal reaction. Good thing the glass didn't break. <laughs> How about a beautiful rose to make up for it? What the? You know what I want. An axe? Oh, right. I forgot. She wants me to cut off the petals. She only wants the stem. Now that looks better. Did Wednesday just smile? It's real! This is not good. Wednesday never smiles. Run, butler! Where do you think you're going? Aw, she just wants a hug. Uh-oh, it seems Barbie is not in a good mood today. Is that a soda? Give me one. This? Hurry up and give me a can. Gosh, okay, let me open this. Huh? Oh no, her nail snapped off. Stay alert, Ken. <laughs> Are you okay? That was so funny. <laughs> uh, I guess it is kind of funny. <laughs> funny. All right, time to drink. Huh? My nail snapped off. <laughs> there goes the sudden change of mood. Oh, let's hope Barbie will be consoled with flowers. For me, you're so sweet. The smell. I think I'm gonna puke. Gross. It seems Barbie is sensitive to the smell of flowers. Ooh, that was embarrassing. Oh well, I'm thirsty now. She seems all right to me. <laughs> it's time for the baby's checkup. It's too early for this noise. OMG, look at your belly, so cute. Uh-oh, Wednesday is getting irritated. Wow, you really stood up so we could touch it better, huh? That's it. The butler is here. I smell trouble. What's inside the suitcase? That looks like a torture device. But it seems to be protecting Wednesday's belly well. Ah! What was that? Ouch! Now everybody who touches Wednesday's belly gets electrocuted. How smart. Pregnant bellies are the best! Barbie is getting so annoyed. Ken is here. Maybe he can do something. Hi. Fix this. Fix what? Get rid of them. Oh, right. Ladies, who wants muffins and fruits? Boring. We don't want that. Bribery didn't work. What else can Ken try? He's up to something. Ow! I hurt my knee! Cute little tummy. That didn't work either. But props to good acting, Ken. <laughs> there has to be another way. Hey, guys. I'm Barbie number two. And I have a pregnant belly. Oh, my gosh. A pregnant belly. We have to touch it. The real Barbie is relieved. Ah, finally, peace. Thank you, my Ken. Ken really took one for the team. What are you doing? Nothing. It seems like the butler is hiding something. He really doesn't want to show it to Wednesday. What is it? Look, it's Thing. Everything's good. I see. Now I can show it to you. A gender reveal pinata. Here's a baseball bat. How boring. I'd rather use this club with spikes. Ha! So many spiders. It's a girl. This can't be. I don't want a girl. Now it's a boy. 
Even the spiders are scared of upsetting Wednesday. It's Barbie's gender reveal party! Is her baby going to be a boy or a girl? Ken is here to reveal for us in the form of confetti. Please be a girl, huh? How do you operate this? Looks like there's a delay going on here. This confetti just won't get popped. Everybody's getting impatient. Come on! This is ridiculous. Gimme, I'll do it. Yes, pop it! Here it goes! It's a girl! Barbie got her wish! Whoa! I am so happy! Yay! Ken's getting all choked up. But not because of the gender reveal. I think he might have eaten some confetti there. Wednesday is ready for her ultrasound, but the doctor is too busy reading a magazine. You won't notice me? Then I'll make you. <laughs> My arm! Ouch! Hi there, doctor. You devil! Fine, let's get this over with. Something's wrong. Why is nothing appearing on the screen? Just let me tap this. There he is. Oh my, dynamite? It looks fine. Huh? What's this? What an explosion! You messed with the wrong family, Doc. Like mother, like son, indeed. I'm so proud of you, baby boy. Barbie is about to have an ultrasound. Just lie down. I'm so nervous. This gadget won't hurt. Hurt my hand, Ken. Whoa, her grip is so tight. Ow! My hand! My hand, my hand! She just ripped his arm off. Oops. It's okay. It won't hurt if it's detached. Here I go. Let's see how your baby is doing. Huh? Hello, everyone. Am I seeing things? Oh, how adorable. Even Wednesday is having trouble sleeping. Her pregnant belly is making her back ache. Ugh, I can't take this anymore. Do you need help? I can put up a few pillows for you. Let's hope these fluffy cushions will work. At least they're all black and white, so that must make Wednesday happy. Nope, it's not working. <sighs> a knife? What is she planning to do? I'm sorry, I tried to help. I don't think that knife is for you, butler. It's for the bed. Wednesday seems to be making a hole in the mattress. Is she trying to take its heart out for making her uncomfortable? Oh, I see. The circle is the perfect shape for her belly. Look how snug it is. Yay! Now she can finally get that peaceful sleep. Barbie seems to be struggling to fall asleep. It's so uncomfortable. Aha! Give me that pillow. Ah, now that's better. What was that? I can't sleep. It's so uncomfortable. I know what you need. Your favorite sprinkled donut. Oh, you know me so well. A donut, hmm? Oh, I have an idea. I have an inflatable donut. Hey, this is not food. It's for your stomach. Go on and lie your big belly in the hole. Wow, this is so comfortable. I need to pee. Yikes, you're definitely puking before anything else. Hey, come here. Yes? Explain this. Oops, sorry. Ugh, just go away. It's experiment time. Dr. Wednesday is in, just like a cool scientist. Uh-oh, those chemicals look dangerous. I'm going to pour this green toxic liquid, then mix it with a blue portion. Now to top it off with a serum. There's the reaction I've been craving. Let's hope this will help clean the toilet and kill all those germs. It worked. Just flush it, and the toilet is as good as new. Pouring the chemical solution into a wine glass? Mmm, it tastes as toxic as my brain. I love it. What's that smell? It's coming from the toilet. Pregnant ladies really have sensitive noses. Clean the toilet. It's sparkly clean. But it's not dirty. I said clean it. Right, go on it. Pour some cleaning liquid in the toilet. Make sure to get it in all the corners where the stink resides. Throw in a bath bomb, too, to really achieve that nice fragrance. Look, it's working. 
Even add in some lemon slices to mix with the smell. Don't forget the good old flower gels! Wow! We've got a diffuser, too! As well as toilet candy and some flowers. Add in some perfume. I'm getting dizzy from all the mixed fragrances. Poor Ken! Oh, it doesn't stink anymore. I love the new smell. Toilet time even comes with a toilet snack. Dip that cherry lollipop into the cherry sprinkles. There could never be enough sweetness in this room. My stomach won't stop hurting. Good thing the doll has x-ray vision. There seems to be a boxing competition going on in there. Huggy, do something about this. I have an idea. Huh? That's mine! Huggy just needs to borrow these headphones for a while. Maybe music will help calm the babies. Never mind. They absolutely hate it. They're still going at it. It hurts. Maybe they prefer a different kind of music? Let's give this rock star a try. I don't want to. I said sing or I'm going to eat you. Okay. Rock and roll, baby. This is hurting my ears. Rock and roll, The babies baby. hate it too. Okay, I think that's enough. This clearly isn't working. Huggy needs to find a better solution. rock a -bye, baby on the treetop. It seems the babies like their daddy Huggy's voice. You sound good. Look, it's working. The babies are falling asleep. But that doesn't stop Huggy from singing. He's already gained fans. Welcome to the yoga class for pregnant mommies. Now, ladies, it's time to roll your hips. The doll is struggling to do the move. <laughs> Wait a second. Why are these girls laughing at me? Now do a lunge pose and take a deep breath. <sighs> the doll still cannot do the pose. Uh-oh. What is this girl planning to do? Something's brewing. Orbeez? Oh, no. Watch out. Whoa. <laughs> Loser. Stop. You. That's what you get for messing with a robot mom. What have you done? And you. I'm so sorry. Please don't hurt me. What happened? It was nothing. Huh? Someone's having an ultrasound. Ice cream and spiders. What? Doctor, I'm ready. Huh? Then who is? It's Huggy Wuggy. His stomach is just bloated from all the spider-flavored ice cream. Don't worry, he can just burp it all out. Get out of my place. It's my turn to have an ultrasound. Are you ready? Wow, a mini Huggy Wuggy. This is great news. Hold on, there's one more. Yay! Another one? Triplets, yes! Too many diaper changes. We'll be fine. Oh my, she's having quintuplets! It seems that the doll can't fall asleep. Her pregnant belly must be bothering her. This is so heavy. Huggy, wake up. I can't sleep. Help me. Let's hope Huggy has some ideas to make the doll fall asleep. I've got an idea. Looks like he's setting up to make the doll more comfortable with all these cushions. Now what? Is that incense? Oh, maybe a nice scent in the air will make her fall asleep. This is not going to work. I hate the smell. How about some nice, soothing harp music? It's still not working. What else can Huggy do? If all else fails, perhaps a little bit of hypnotism will do the work. This is just annoying me. Oops. If good old hypnotism doesn't work, perhaps a good back massage will. Eh, it's all right. Hold on, is that a power button? That seems like a good solution. Just turn her off and bam! She's asleep in an instant. She's still a robot after all. Huh? The doll is planning to do the laundry, but it's hard to move around with such a big pregnant belly. This is really testing her flexibility. Huh? Oh no! Come on! I give up. Ha! Ah. Looks like help has arrived. Can you pick up the clothes? Sure, I'm happy to help you out. Just look after my ice cream. Huggy Wuggy is such a good husband. He's always eager to help. These are mostly Huggy's clothes anyway. It's the doll's turn to relax now. What are you doing? Just keep picking up the clothes. Don't mind me, hee <laughs> hee. Oh no, the queue to the toilet is so long. Can you let me go first, please? I'm pregnant and I really need to pee. No way. 
What now? The doll can't hold it in any longer. Is there a way to make her go first? What's going on here? I need the toilet. They won't let me cut the line. Is that so? Let me handle this. <coughs> oh, the joys of having a monster husband. Thank you, Huggy. Bye. Huggy's busy playing games on his phone. Oh, Huggy, I want that. Look, look. What? It's a new stroller made out of gold. The doll really wants that for her baby. But we already have so many strollers. See? Look, we have one, two, three, four strollers. And we have five babies. Look at them. They're waving hello. See? You're right. We need one more stroller. Leave this to me. What is Huggy planning to do? He's scaring the host away. Well, scaring people is his expertise, after all. At least he got the stroller. I'm back. Here is the golden stroller that you wanted. Wow. I knew I could count on you, Daddy Huggy. Our fifth baby is going to love Yay! this. It's snack time. There's pizza, cake, fish, and milk. But what do the babies want? It seems they all want different things. Oh, looks like Mommy Doll is going to have to eat everything. What is she planning to do now? Let's prepare all the food first. Hold on. A blender? Oh, dear. She's going to make a smoothie out of all this food. Oh, don't forget the fish. Why not add a banana, too, for extra flavor? And finally, the milk. A sprinkle of salt, too. And start blending. The taste of this is going to be interesting. I can't wait to taste this yummy smoothie. In fairness, it looks like a strawberry smoothie. Mmm. The doll seems to like it. And the babies, too. What do we have here? A smoothie? This must be a fruit smoothie. I'll take it. Here goes nothing. Ah, refreshing. Huh? Ah, so disgusting. The doll is giving birth right now. Huggy is so nervous. Will the doll and the babies be okay? They're coming out. Look at our baby. Our cute little rainbow. Isn't she so cute? What a ray of sunshine. Here come the other four baby Huggy Wuggies. Wait, those are ours too? Welcome to the outside world, babies. Hold on, there are more? Shouldn't there only be five? There are actually nine babies all in all. Poor Huggy. You guys are about to have a very chaotic household. <laughs> the family is going on a vacation. Wait. Where's our daughter? Melanie, let's go. We're leaving. Are you here, Melanie? I'm not sure she'll fit under the carpet either. Maybe she's in her room. I'll go check. There you are, silly girl. Melanie, we have to go. Huh? Why can't she hear me? Melanie, we have to go. What's going on up there? Why can't Melanie hear anything? Let me check her ears. It's full of wax. How will she be able to hear us now? Oh, I have an ear cleaner. Let's get to work. It might tickle a little. Ew, Melanie basically made her own ear muffs. This gadget will get rid of all that nasty ear wax. Good thing this ear cleaner comes with a light show. Yay, she can hear us now. Yay, she can hear us now. Hold on. Dad's ears are full of wax, too. Really? How was Dad able to hear through all that slime? Beep, beep. You'll get a speeding ticket at this point. Huh? Wow! And those poor toys. What a tragic accident. Oh, no! The clothes! Bicycles are made to be used outside the house, after all. My poor toy! The poor toy got hit by a bicycle. Help him! Look at his broken arm. This is an easy job. Dr. Mommy is in the house. She's all suited up. Let's start the operation. Can we save him in time? First things first, check for the pulse. We have to cut his arm off. To put it back properly, we have to remove it first. 
tweezers, please. This is practically his shoulder bone. We need to attach his arm. Then we can stitch it back up with a thread and needle. Mom is a professional at this. Look how awesome her stitching skills are. Surgery is done. I recommend bed rest for a few days so the stitch will heal. Wow! His arm is okay! My job here is done. What about Barbie? Well, being a mom and a surgeon is a full-time job. <laughs> you can only pack so much for a trip. But it seems Dad wants to bring the whole toy box. What is it? What's happening? I'm sick. Is that a cough I hear? I have a solution for that. Just dip the lollipop into the cough syrup. Stop that. She can eat it. Okay. What is mom looking for? Aha! Uh -huh. I found the mold. I'm going to make a homemade lollipop. Place a toothpick in each mold. Then pour in cough syrup. Let it freeze. And voila! A medicine lollipop. Here you go. Wow! This is yummy. Lollipop? Can I have some? I want a lollipop too. Well, I guess dad can enjoy it too, even if he's not sick. Lollipops are for everyone. It's a relaxing day for camping. Never mind. Dad seems to be looking for something. I have three splinters in my hand. Three? Oh dear, this is bad. Aha! I found the tongs. Are you crazy? You can't use those. Just stay back and let me do the job. We have a first aid kit for this. I present to you the pump gadget. This will suck out that nasty splinter fast. One down, two to go. It's gone! It doesn't even hurt! No need for tongs then, I see. Mom always knows best. The family is sleeping in a tent. Huh? What's that noise? What was that? I think there's a real monster out there. What's wrong, sweetie? There's something outside! Ah! They're gonna eat us! Honey, wake up! What is it? What's happening? There's a monster outside! Oh, silly. Those are just leaves. It's gone when you point a flashlight at it. It's so bright! Our eyes! This doesn't seem to work. Ah! You're right. It's like staring straight into the sun. Oh, I know! Mom is making a lamp out of a heart-shaped balloon. Cover it up with a tissue and start painting. Add a cute bear and glitter. Cover that up again with a tissue and paint some more. Then add stars this time. Repeat the same step, tissue and paint. Now that you've molded the shape of the balloon, we can pop it and get rid of it. I'm sure you can already tell who this lamp is gonna be. Huggy Wuggy! A Huggy Wuggy lamp? That's so cool! Now they can finally sleep in peace. Score! Yeah, that was a good shot! Another point for me! My turn! Yes! They're supposed to be packing their bags for the trip. But I guess a DIY basketball game won't hurt. Uh-oh, it's mom! What are you guys doing? This is not how you pack your clothes! Hold on… This box is giving me an idea! Let's see what mom is up to. She's cutting out the cardboard into pieces. Now she'll bring it all together with tape. Make sure to secure every corner. This way the cardboard can be foldable. It's done! You can fold your clothes with this? Let's give it a try. Put the shirt over the cardboard and fold it up on the sides. Wow. Then at the bottom. Wow! I did it! Maybe they should turn this into a game and score a point for every folded shirt. Huh? And look! They fit well in the suitcase. It's dad's turn to fold his clothes. Like this? Oh, I got it! This is too easy! Looks like Melanie and mom are going somewhere. Ready to go? Yep, all done! Whoa! Careful! My shoes! I think I put them on the wrong foot. How can you even get that wrong? You know what? We'll solve this. It seems Melanie can't tell which one is left and right. Mom's gonna put a sticker to mark which is which. This side goes on the right. And the other half goes on the left. Huh? This image doesn't seem right. Aha! Uh -huh. This way! It's just like a puzzle. I 
I'm ready to go. Hey, ladies. You guys ready? Dad, look! Dad put on his shoes incorrectly, too. Good thing I have extra stickers for you. This sand is so fun. I'm gonna fill it up with water. Just a little bit more. It looks like a volcano. But I'm gonna mold it into a ball. Something's inside. Let's soak it under the water to see what's hidden. Well, hello there, Huggy Wuggy. Where is the rest of his body? Wow! Oh no, the lollipop! This is a cute monster! Mom, Dad, look what I found! That looks fun, sweetie. Oh, where's my lollipop? It's covered in sand now. Is she gonna eat it? No! Stop! You are not eating a sand-flavored lollipop. I wanted to eat that! Use this instead. What is that? Wow! He's eating my lollipop. He's just holding it for you. And he's protecting it, too. You can place it on the sand anytime you want now. Cool! My lollipop is safe! I love this gadget. The family is about to board their flight. This is so funny. Hmm. It seems Melanie didn't get enough sleep last night. She's lost in dreamland. Her snoring is so noisy. I'll just put tape over her mouth. Well, that's one way to solve the problem. Perfect. <laughs> I'm kind of getting sleepy, too. Huh? What's that noise? Dad is snoring, too. It's so noisy. I know. A sleep strip will cover up his snores. That seems to work really well. It looks like Dad has a cute pacifier. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mom's asleep, too. Who's gonna cover up mom snoring now? What a cute picture. Honey, pack your things. I've got your backpack. It's so ugly, Mom. I don't like it. Why? I think it looks cute. Oh, well. Look at this cute bag. Now this is the kind of bag I want. Maybe there's something pink around here. Aha! Uh -huh, the trash bag! Melanie's got a unique taste for a bag. Oh my, the trash! Why are you putting your stuff inside the trash bag? I'm ready to go! I packed my stuff. Check out my cool new backpack. It's like I'm wearing a cape. That's not an appropriate bag, sweetie. What should I do? Oh, a puppet! Looks like mom got an idea! Wow, a puppet bag! It has so many colors! And I can play with it, too! Okay, I'll definitely wear this! Thanks, mom! It's perfect! Yay! Melanie is really addicted to video games! Don't slouch like that! Fix your posture! Whatever! Oop, she's doing it again! Unbelievable! Sit straight, okay? Hmm, my daughter can't have bad posture. Look, she's like an old woman with a hunchback. That can't be! No! We can't have you slouching like that. We need to solve this right now. How is a belt going to help? Are you gonna hurt me? Please don't! I promise I'll fix my posture! Sit properly! Is he making a seat belt? Oh, I see. He's tying Melanie to the chair. Let's see if you'll still slouch after that. What a smart hack, Dad. We'll fix your posture in no time. Cereal is my favorite meal of the day. Legos on the floor are never a good idea. The cereal spilled all over Melanie. Ouch! My foot! You ruined my hair! Guys, what is going on here? Oh my gosh! So many Legos! I was just playing. Don't you feel bad for me? Yikes, it's so sore. Wait, I have an idea on how to clean this up. Mom covered the vacuum tube with socks to gather the Lego pieces. They won't get sucked in all the way. And it's easier to bring them back to the toy box. Mommy is like a special agent with her cool hacks. Ugh, come on. Oops! Aiden doesn't like the water splash! Mario! Mario! Oh, come on! It was Mario's bath time! 
But of course, Aiden must come first. I don't like the water splashing. Is that so? I have an idea. We need the brick to yield a special item for us. There it is! An anti-splash powder! Let's go! We have to pour all of the powder into the toilet to make sure no splashes will happen. Are you ready? Give it a try! It worked! It didn't splash! This is great! Thanks, Mario! Way to go, Bowser! He's faster than Lightning McQueen! Uh-oh! Not the toilet! No! Mario! Mario is also in the middle of a Mario Kart race! Let's hope he doesn't land up in the toilet, too! Mario! I need help! What happened? Bowser landed in the toilet! I know! Come here! Are you gonna hit me? Silly! I just gave you a toilet seat racetrack! What a smart invention! It's time to keep the wheels turning! Well, Mario also needs to get back to his Mario Kart race! He has a trophy to win! I think Aiden's overdoing it with the toothpaste! And he doesn't even want to use it! Whoa! What is this? Aiden? You're supposed to brush your teeth! But the toothpaste smells too minty! How about a tiny Bowser cap on the toothpaste? When you feed him some toothpaste, he'll poop it out for you! Funny, right? Now go on, brush your teeth! I don't want to! Mamma mia! I want to eat Nutella! That's it! Give me that! I'm gonna make a Nutella toothpaste! It's a perfect! Now Bowser has chocolatey diarrhea! Try it! Mmm! It's like mint chocolate! All those mushrooms he ate are a little bit hard to let out! Hey! Who's been stealing all the toilet paper? It's empty? There are no more rolls left! Except for one over on the bathtub! Oh no! It's Bowser! You evil turtle! Mario! Even the piranha plant heard the distress call! What's wrong? I'm out of TP! You don't need TP! What is Mario planning to do? I have a gadget in here! Plant. Get off me! Okay, let's try this again. Aha! I found it! Wow! This bidet comes with a pump! And look how easily it cleans balloons! You're done? Don't worry about flushing. You can simply throw the water away. It's a very easy! Using the toilet should be a relief. Except when the toilet seat is too cold. Will Mario be able to help? What's the ruckus? I'm freezing! The toilet seat is too cold! Is that so? Maybe the heat of a hairdryer will help? Nice idea! It's making my butt all warm and cozy! As for the toilet seat… Is that a Mario squishy? I know! It's time to assemble all the squishies! Good thing they come in stickers so I can put them all over the toilet seat and keep it warm! Aiden, your toilet seat is ready! This is so comfortable and squishy! And squish all you can while you're at it! Whoa! This toilet seat is too high for Aiden! He can't reach it! Ugh! Mario! Hi, you hear a distress call! Oh, hello! What's the problem? I can't reach the toilet seat! What can we do? Oh! What's the brick for? You can use this as a stepping stool! Climb on up! Wow! I feel so tall! I love it! Uh, uh, Ugh! Somebody get this boy a tissue! Or better yet, wash your hands in the sink! But we have a problem! Aiden can't reach the faucet! Eh, I'll just wipe it all off on the sink! What's going on? Mamma mia! Think? A shampoo bottle? I've got it! What is Mario planning to do? 
Let's clean up the slime using this squishy toy. He's full now. And I'll use the shampoo bottle to make a bridge for the water to flow closer. What a genius. You, we finally got rid of all that slime. Good job. And it's about time you finish that shower. Nothing is more relaxing than bath time. Oh no. The soap is too slippery. Uh-oh, watch out. Who knew Mario had skateboarding skills? He's about to finish the Mario Kart race! Wah! Oof! Ow! My back! That must have hurt. We need to do something about this soapy situation. Is that a giant nose? Even better, it's a soap dispenser. I wish it was this easy to sneeze out a cold. That was easy. And no more skateboarding accidents. There's no better game to play than Mario Bros. It's King Boo! Wah! The controller just took a toilet dip. That means Mario also got drenched. And it's game over. I didn't mean to drop the controller. Ugh, that's nasty. We have to prevent this from happening again. Are those Mario's tights? It seems they also fit the toilet seat well. And to make it more convenient, cut a hole in the middle. Let's give this a try. Phew, it didn't fall in. How about a squishy duck? Nope, still safe. Nice. Back to the game. I have a feeling Aiden's winning. We must wash your hair properly. Ow, I got soap in my eyes. Oh no, I'm so sorry. What have you done to my boy? Here, I'll wipe it off. It's okay. You irresponsible man. It seems something else has caught Mario's attention. What is he planning to do with the crown? Wow, it's a crown-shaped shower cap. That's a useful gadget to prevent soap from getting into Eden's eyes. 